Hello, chat friends, and welcome to out of Cash Channel, and welcome back to our Queen's Game Decline series. So, in this series, we have seen some great defenses and for some very important sidelines of particular openings after first moves d4, d5, and c4. And today, we're continuing with our Queen's Gambit decline studies and the so called Albin Contra Gambit. The Albin Contra Gambit that we have started recently, we have seen some beautiful traps that are possible for white and from black. And today, we're continuing with a different sideline of the Albin Contra Gambit. Today, we're analyzing the so called Janowski variation of the Albin Contra Gambit. So, the Janowski variation is a very annoying method. The black will plot. Uh, play the move f6 because in the Albin Contra Gambit we have already this advanced pawn on e5 and black is going to challenge your e5 pawn with the move f6 and then we recapture the knight uh, the pawn with the knight on f6 and then we'll have a fast fast development we'll try to uh, further to attack you here on the king side by playing h6 and g5 so we'll come to the point of course I'll explain you what is the main strategical goal of black but in this video I wanted to show you how to destroy the Anovsky variation of the Albin Contra Gambit because still in my opinion the Albin Contra Gambit is something that you should try to avoid so uh, maybe it's a little bit unpleasant to play the game from White's perspective in the beginning but I think if you know what you are doing uh, what are the basic strategical goals for Black then I think you could have a comfortable game and you could uh, I think win games very very easily against the Albin Contra Gambit so as I said if you want to cover also some different sidelines in this opening please check out our series uh from the beginning because in this video we're doing only the anovsky variation will not uh, meet with maybe some other ideas uh, that you have uh, some questions about so as i said in this video only we'll see how to beat the anovsky variation of the queen's game decline so let's see now what is this very annoying stuff and why or how why should counterplay this type of structure so here we have of course first of move d4 we have d5 and then for move c4 we have now the Albin counter game Gambit move which is now the normal move e5 so d dex e5 we should take nothing wrong with this move so far and now many times uh, uh black was going to play the move d4 we'll simply attack here your side of the board and we'll have now a beautiful expansion here in the center of the board so now we should play knight to f3 which is perfectly fine and after move knight to c6 my recommendation was always to play this alapin variation with the move knight to d2 uh, to in order just to play the move knight to b3 and then to try recovery capture the pawn on d4 so now comes the Anovsky move f6 and th this move i think is very common uh, for albin counter gambit players because uh, black is hoping for of course that you take and then he gets out with the knight in a very very fast way with the beautiful tempo so uh, what you should not do is of course allow your opponent here to take even e6 is not working here because also then the bishop comes out with the tempo then black is going to play queen to d7 uh, will play queen side castling and uh, here black has a solid game black was uh, black has equalized the game very very easily so after move f6 we should take so nothing wrong with this move uh so far by white after move knight to f6 my recommendation is here to play the move a3 because there are several things that has to have to be understood in this types of structures first of all what we should understand is that uh, here when black is playing the move f6 black has already weakened the pawn structure we black has already some structural weaknesses uh here on the king side because it's not going to be likely that uh, black is going to castle king side you have to understand that because if black castles king side then black could face many many problems tactical problems or life course especially on this diagonal and also the knight is a little bit exposed here then in the continuation knight to b3 bishop to g5 uh could um, could happen so as i said the knight could be pinned so uh, so far my recommendation is here to play the move a3 because we have to understand as we said black is not going to castle on the king side black is going to castle on the queen side that's his main strategical goal and with the move a3 that we can play now if black castles immediately here on the queen side then we can play b4 immediately so we will probably castle king side our opponent will castle queen side and we will have then the so-called opposite side attack game where you should attack your opponent's king and probably uh, black is going to launch here an attack with h6 um, g5 and of course we have to also state because now the f file is open uh, black could also use the f file by playing the move rook to f8 so as i said we will have uh, opposite side attack game but i think we can agree with the move a3 and b4 we are much much faster here on the queen side so we can play a3 and then b4 immediately and then we would attack uh, our opponent's um, castle king immediately this is i think uh, something that we have to play a3 it seems like nothing special is going on but a3 is actually the best move here so after move uh, a3 uh, we'll analyze now the position what you should not do 
in my opinion is to play this line knight to b3 uh, in order to maybe battle for the d4 square because uh, you're not probably lose the game immediately um, because you have played the move knight to b3 but still this is something that you should not do because your opponents will try this idea bishop to g4 with queen to d7 queen side castling and even if you get out of this positional mess because your opponent wants to take the knight on f3 and is trying to double up your pawn structure a little bit here uh, on the king side now you cannot even take here the pawn on e5 because uh this is now really a dirty trap that uh, black is preparing here because after move knight to d4 we have queen to d4 and now after bishop to b4 the game is basically over here for white you have to cover uh with the bishop we can take out the queen knight to d4 and now after bishop to d2 we have king to d2 and queen side castling black is winning the game you can maybe protect it with e3 uh, or king to c3 if e3 happens then we can play c5 uh the knight gets trapped even if you try king to c3 then of course knight to e4 also wins the game so this is something i think that we have to know uh this is something that you should not do so as i said in this types of structures knight to b3 is not the correct move here we should simply proceed with the normal a3 so in this positions i wanted to show you how uh international masters grand masters feeder masters handled uh this um, um yanovsky variation so as we said we're playing simply knight to d2 our opponent can play of course the move f6 and now after e takes f6 knight to f6 we should go as i said a3 and okay black could proceed here with the normal idea bishop to g4 we can play g3 immediately so we can play bishop to g2 and kingside casting so we should not be worried so much about black's potential attacks because we're also fast in the attack because of the move a3 so uh, here in the continuation your opponent could try maybe queen to d7 and now we can simply proceed with the normal bishop to g2 queenside castling and okay we can also immediately try kingside castling so nothing wrong with white's position so far so okay let's see now bishop to e7 could be a continuation and as we said we're faster b4 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 we have already a beautiful attack uh, as we said we have now this opposite side uh casting position where you should attack your opponent's king and we can agree i think that white is much much faster here black hasn't played so far h6 g5 black hasn't played so far h5 uh so even if black would have played bishop t d6 c5 you see b5 i don't know b6 a4 or a5 uh, queen to a4 is also very interesting with b5 and then uh, to recapture the uh, to take out the pawn on a7 so as i said very really beautiful methods uh, here are possible so this is now the main strategical goal of white so here your opponent could try d3 in order to uh, maybe open the default but you should not simply pass through here with the move e3 and i found uh, one game in the database in this position here uh, knight to e5 was played which was a desperate try but i wanted to point you out that this was feed the master level which is really incredible and here white simply took knight to e5 uh queen to d1 and here after move knight to d7 bishop to e2 was played but now white simply retreated okay black took had his fun by taking the uh, the rook on f1 but now after bishop to f1 notice that the d3 pawn is also weakened here after move knight to d3 knight to g4 was played and now after move knight to e4 in this position black actually resigned so we have here from white's perspective two minor pieces and two pawns for the rook which is i think uh, completely completely winning position of course for white so this is something that black should not do so i think let's go back that this idea to play the move uh, a3 is a very important idea because um white is simply much much faster we have to understand it i wanted to show you a new example here uh, again uh, black is playing the yanovsky move uh, f6 so we have again e takes f6 so you should simply take nothing wrong with white's position so far uh, after move knight to f6 again we play the move a3 now bishop to e6 could be also an opportunity to maybe to play this battery in a different way we just continue with our normal plan uh, we have here bishop to g2 we have now bishop to h3 now again king side casting nothing wrong with white's position so far after move bishop to g2 we have now king to g2 and now what black could do maybe is to move a5 so a5 is uh, an idea to prevent of course b4 but this is a move again that should not bother you because we have to understand that black has already played the move a5 and if black castles now queenside his pawn structure is already weakened so black's king would be really really endangered if black is trying now uh, to play the move queenside casting so after move a5 we should proceed with the normal queen to a4 because if as i said here queenside casting happens then b4 
is a beautiful move after a takes b4 we have queen to a8 and uh, then the knight has to cover again i think white is much much faster on the attack we can use the b file we can also use some ideas i don't know knight to uh, knight to b3 maybe knight to a5 uh rook to b1 as i said bishop to uh b2 could be an opportunity to have rook to d1 but i think again we can agree that white is much much faster here white has already opened the position here on the queen side black king is already already the danger then again i'm pointing out black didn't do anything here on the king side black didn't play h6 g5 so our uh, attack is much much faster so i'm not telling you that you will win the game immediately because we have reached the position but i think we can agree that something went wrong here for black this is not what black wanted to get out of the alvin counter gambit so let's go back after move a5 as we said we should go simply with the move queen to a4 and even if black tries some ideas i don't know knight to e5 maybe uh, to undermine the pressure then we should simply trade off the queens trading off the queens is not the problem here then we can also take out the d4 pawn so a simplification is working perfectly fine here for white we don't have to play a beautiful tactical attractive attractive game that we want to i don't know show off and maybe uh, show some friends uh, somewhere i don't know but it's uh, as i said simple simple as that chess can be really simple now we should trade off more pieces and go into favorable middle game slash end game where we are up a pawn so as i said here after move queen to a4 i found also uh, one beautiful game in the database now black realized that he cannot castle queen side and prepared now kingside casting but actually black doesn't have now the main goal black wanted to attack the kingside and now after kingside casting the attack is simply splashed black didn't gain anything out of this uh, structure so here b4 was possible immediately because after uh, of course um, a takes b4 the rook is hanging so that's why kingside casting was played but now we have this one uh, b5 we have uh, knight to uh, d8 and now after bishop to b2 you see this pawn is very very weak now we have knight to e6 knight to b3 attacking further this pawn and here a uh, white simply took and has now a completely completely winning game game here so knight to d4 knight to d4 we have uh, knight to g5 trying of course to attack here but now uh with the um, queen to c2 okay black had some fun here but uh, nothing wrong uh white can include now many pieces into the defense here in the continuation rook to uh rook to f6 was played but now f4 uh rook to uh h6 and after e3 uh white covered the second rank this maneuver i think you have to know uh, because black will probably try this similar ideas maybe not the same but as i said now when the second rank is covered again uh white is completely completely winning and so you could also play of course rook to f2 also to try to defend this position in a different way so here in one game that i found as i said in the database e3 was played we have knight to e4 and now after queen to g2 again white is hoping to simplify the game to trade off more pieces so after move queen to g2 king to g2 again knight to d2 another problem after rook to c1 uh the c4 pawn is protected we have knight to b3 in here black even made a huge huge blunder in this position black resigned so as i said this is maybe an annoying idea well, let's go back uh, so uh, after this attack uh, from this position knight to d4 okay knight to g4 uh queen to c2 has to be played we have to cover but as i said after move rook to f6 uh, okay f4 and then e3 or rook to f2 the most important thing is to cover to protect first uh, and then uh to go into a favorable endgame so let's see now a different example what you could also do after move a3 and bishop to g4 that your opponent is playing you could also try h3 you don't have to play maybe g3 if you don't like h3 is also perfectly fine then after bishop to f3 knight to f3 for instance queen to e7 we have seen also queen to e7 as an idea in our previous analysis then also bishop to g5 is working you see the d4 pawn is hanging now again black is trying queen side casting but then again with queen to d3 we can also play this beautiful blockade i like this idea because we're not allowing this very annoying d3 method because you should always know this we have talked about these ideas in our albin counter gamut series when your opponent is placing the queen on the e5 that then you can expect that he'll probably try this d3 idea so he will try this kind of stuff in order to open the e-file and then to create a very annoying structure so that's why we should play queen to d3 and you see now how important also the 
eighth remove is in the beginning because your opponent is not uh doesn't have this move uh, here knight to b4 and knight to e5 is of course covered here by this knight on f3 so so far good good defensive setup and in the continuation we can then try g3 bishop to g2 again rook to d1 we will continue simply the pressure will simply continue our block so i found also one beautiful game in this database g6 both play bishop to f6 so nothing wrong with the simplification as i said we should just simplify the game as much as we can so we have bishop to g2 we have h5 and now after h4 also uh white has a comfortable game so as i said this is also a nice method that you can play for instance after move g4 you can also try knight to g5 and look at this now the light square diagonals is open again we can try b4 uh b5 uh a4 a5 a6 i don't know maybe something like that opening simply the further the position for the light square bishop but now even kingside casting is an opportunity i think even queenside casting maybe would be an opportunity maybe to attack further the d d4 pawn so as i said this is also a beautiful method but notice also that g3 was played and afterwards although we had the first move h3 in the beginning so this is a method that i think you can apply uh, in which you can i think win games very very easily very effectively with this a3 method so it's something as i said really really worth to study a3 with the idea then to afterwards play the move b4 so this a3 idea is in my opinion only working when your opponent is playing this f6 idea so uh please check out also our previous analysis because sometimes this a3 is working sometimes this a3 is not working so um this tiny little uh, things you have to know but if you solve them if you memorize them then i think you can have great fun and you will probably destroy uh the album can album counter gambit all the time so okay i hope that you enjoyed the study about the album counter gambit if you want to study uh this opening more please check out our series from the beginning we have seen as i said the lotker trap and also some different ideas on in this tactic tactical battles and if you want to see our whole queen's game decline studies please check out our uh, queen's game decline series with some more defenses like the chigori defense tata defense semi tata defense and similar stuff and if you like this content don't forget to subscribe to my channel see you soon with some more videos and what to say chess is the best of course